This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, today we are going to be taking a look at the top 10 board games that are on consoles, not PC, consoles that I think are things that you guys need to check out. So without further ado, let's uh, check this list out. Now if you have a Switch, you are definitely going to want the one that is at number 10, and that is Age of Sigmar uh, Champions, uh, the card game. Uh, this card game was really big last year at Gen Con, not this past Gen Con, but the Gen Con before it, and they put it out on the Switch. It plays very well, it's very, very good, it's something I think you guys would enjoy immensely. At number nine is a game that, um, well, you know, I'll be honest with you, um, it's only on one system, and I believe that is the Xbox uh, 360, but I really enjoyed it and had a wonderful time with it, and I think it's also on the Xbox now, too, and that's Carcassonne. Um, I actually learned how to play Carcassonne on the 360 uh, quite a few years ago. But I always enjoyed it and had a wonderful experience with it. At number eight is an old favorite and uh, basically the game that kind of really steamrolled everybody and really started kind of the board game craze if you really think about it back in the day. Uh, and that is Catan. Uh, Catan is just fantastic. Uh, it ports over to the consoles very well and it is excellent and it is something I highly suggest. At number uh, six, number six is one uh, that, oh actually number seven, excuse me, I'm not going to edit this out. At number seven is a game that I really think that you guys uh, should check out because it kind of caught me by surprise. Um, it is Super Dungeon Explorer, or I think they call it Arena, but it's basically just Super Dungeon uh, uh, Super with all the heroes and all the villains and everything like that. And it plays with the same dice rolls and all that. So if you don't feel like breaking out that old game, or maybe you gave it away at some point, you could play it on the consoles. And it plays very well on the PS4, and I really, really enjoy it. Now, number six. Okay, sorry about that. At number six, uh, it's an old favorite. It, it, it really hangs in there for me. Uh, Risk. I love playing Risk. And um, it, it, it's very enjoyable on, on a console. It's a lot of fun. Uh, uh, the computer player, you know, if you jack it up a bit, it can really be challenging. And um, just, just all around a good experience on a very old board game. Uh, but Risk is a lot of fun. At number five is a favorite that is in this house. Uh, but I would like to see more of the expansions and stuff uh, mixed into it. Uh, and that is Talisman. It's a fantastic port. Uh, the problem playing it on, on, on um, a computer, number one, you can be a little more relaxed and, and lay back. Where if you're sitting at a, table, at a table, sometimes that game can go with everything included. That's an all-dayer. And we usually play it on the holidays. Uh, I find that, you know, it's sometimes it's a little easier just to sit back on the couch and play Talisman uh, right on the PS4. It's pretty easy play, and it's a lot of fun. At number four is a game um, that I just wish they would remake already for crying out loud, and that's Mordheim. Uh, plays very, very well. Uh, very turn-based, uh, taking your you know, taking your time, planning things out, you know, chasing around gems, taking out other gangs, just a lot of fun. Now, at number three, and the rest of these are all Games Workshop games. Games Workshop has really gone out of their way to really give you their experience on a on a platform or a console game so at number three believe it or not is one of my favorite games of all time it's blood bowl my problem with this game and why it's lower it's a great game it feels like the board game it does a lot of things you could take 
your team and play it historically with other friends and all that other stuff. Uh, the dice rolls are unbelievable. Some, some of the things that the computer gets away with is just ridiculous. There's just no way. You put them and pin them in a certain predicament and somehow they find their way out of it and you, and you just scratch your head. Uh, unrealistic die rolls. <clears throat> um, and sometimes I, I would have liked more from the campaign. I really would have. At number two uh, is a game that I just wish they would remake and remake the original version of it. And, and, and the reason it's at number two and that num number one is the in-between parts. And I'll explain in a second. Number two is Warhammer Quest. Uh, Warhammer Quest it gives you the feel of the original board game and I really enjoy that experience but when you're in town the events don't happen the way they would if you were playing because nothing good really you pray you can get out of town it, it's great to get out of a dungeon but sometimes the events inside I, I mean I, you know inside a town are worse than going through a dungeon so uh, I always liked that part of it, the role-playing aspect of it, and I really think it's really good. I don't think it, it, you get that true feel with this in town with Warhammer Quest, the, uh, the game. Now, there's a, it, it's on PS2, it's on, I mean, it's on PS4, uh, Xbox, and so forth and so on. And it's even on, uh, you know, you can play it on your iPad, too. Really good, solid experience. I just... Um, I know they came out with a second version of it, but I, I'm going to have to check that out before I can even comment. There we go. So maybe maybe it's better and we make that number one next time. Who knows? We'll find out. Number one, hey, they have done so many different things with this, and I really love what they've done, especially on the PS4, and that's Space Hulk. Uh, with Deathwing uh, and, and, and some of the other things that they put together, uh, bringing back some of the older games, um, this is just fantastic. It feels like Space Hulk. It plays like Space Hulk. It is just fantastic. And if you have a console, I highly suggest it. But if you have a PS4, go out and buy all of them. They're fairly cheap. Um, and, and you'll just find yourself playing it quite a bit. And really enjoying the board game on a electronic platform and I just think it's fantastic. So do you disagree with what I came up with? Maybe there's some that are out there that you would like to add to this list. I know there were a couple of games that came out in this last week that I haven't had a chance to try that uh, may have made that made this list. Uh, North Sea being one of them, uh, but I didn't get it yet so I can't put it on the list. Maybe there's something I missed. Maybe you just want to tell me that I'm completely wrong. Well, you can do that down in the comments and let me know what you think. Most of all, I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.